Hi boys and girls, I hope you have been enjoying the first week of 2022. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day with thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking you for waking us up this morning in order to attend the service. God, please help us understand whatever the teacher is saying. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Welcome to the praise and worship team. morning guys and uh, happy new year happy 2022 how are you doing did you enjoy your holiday i believe that uh, you enjoyed your holiday wow welcome back to cbs 2022 you know what guys today we have an amazing lesson that we'll be sharing with you and it's a lesson on the theme of this year in situm so you don't want to miss out on this I believe that you are ready to listen and to hear as we go through the lesson. You know what, guys? As it's my usual, I didn't come alone. But before my co-teachers introduce themselves, I would like us to appreciate the music team for leading us so well in that time of worship and also praying for us. And now is that time that I want you to know who else came with me. Hi guys, my name is Angie from Sitam Partners and I welcome you all to today's lesson. Relax as we share the word of God with you. Hello there, my name is Band of Devarakonda from Sitam Parklands and I hope you have your Bible, notebook and pen ready for class. Hi Angie, did you watch last week's lesson? Yes I did, it was an amazing lesson. Did you watch or listen? Yes, I listened to it and it was about New Year's plans. Yeah, right, Bandav. And the memory verse came from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, which says, commit, all, commit whatever you do to the Lord and he will, and they will succeed. And you know what? From that day, I committed everything in my life to God. Me too, Angie. How about you, Teacher Rodriguez? Yes, Bandav. You know what? In fact, I committed my ways on the first day of the year. That's when I committed my ways to God. And not only just that, every, every plan that I have, I'll be committing to God because it is important. How about you guys at home? Did you commit your ways to God? Are your plans committed to God? If not, you need to do so because it's only God who can make your plans come to pass. 
Hi, Pandav. What is wrong with your lamp? What do you mean, what's wrong with my lamp? There's nothing wrong with it, is there? Why can't it give enough light like mine? Look at mine. Wow! Yours is so bright. I forgot to charge mine. That's why it can't give enough light. I charge mine after every time I use it. You should do the same. Yes, guys. We need to charge our lamps. And therefore, this introduces us to our lesson for today, which is also the theme in, in SITAM for this year. And our lesson is radiating his glory. One more time. Radiating his glory. So guys, the first question that we have for you is, what is to radiate God's glory? What is to radiate God's glory? And the word radiate simply means to emit energy, especially light or heat in form of rays or waves. And when we talk about God's glory, it is that light that surrounds God. Okay? The light that surrounds God, that's what we call his glory. But also, we can define uh, God's glory as his, um, uh, we can define God's glory as his uh, perfect fame. Okay? And therefore, when we talk about radiating God's glory, we are simply talking about emitting God's fame in our lives. Now, guys, just like we saw Angie's light that could light up the whole place, the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 14, that we are the light of the world. You know what, guys? When you get born again, God comes to live in your life. And not only just that, but the second thing that happens is that the Holy Spirit takes up the leadership role in your life. So he starts to guide you. He starts to lead you, to show you the way. And therefore, for this reason, whatever you say and whatever you do, then it starts to radiate God's glory in your life. Yes. And our Bible reading today comes from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 which says, Arise, shine, for your lights have come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. The Bible tells us to arise, which means to get up. It says the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is shining upon you. This means that God did not call us to sleep or just sit around, but to, but to radiate his glory in our lives. That's very true, Angie. That's why Jesus says that we are the light of the world. In other words, that we light up the world. God expects us to. Uh, God expects us to. God expects us um, to fill the world with His light through us. Yes, guys, that is very true. That is what God expects us to do. God expects you to radiate his glory in this world. And therefore, the second question we have for you is, how then do we radiate God's glory? How do we radiate God's glory? So there are three points that we'll be sharing with you, and I'll be sharing the first one, and the other two will be shared by my core teachers here. And the first uh, point that I want you to note is that we radiate God's glory through service. When we serve God, when you are serving God with your talents and giftings, you are radiating God's glory. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 that, For we are his uh, workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So God created us in Christ Jesus to do the good works, to serve him. Okay? And let me give you an example. For example, let me say that I'm a musician or a gospel artist. My music should do two things in the kingdom of God. Number one, it should please God. And then number two, it should also encourage God's people. When my music ministers to God's people in this way, then 
I am radiating God's glory. We also radiate God's glory through the fruit of the Spirit manifested in our lives. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. For example, if somebody, if somebody offends me in school, I will not be quick to fight back, but I will uh, control myself and uh, uh, find a way to restore our friendship or report the matter using the right channels. When this fruit is seen in our lives, God's glory will be radiating to the world that doesn't know it. Then we will be, then we will reveal God's character and nature. We also radiate God's glory through our obedience to Him. When we obey Him, we do His will and purpose. When people see the way we live, they will see God's glory in us and will give their lives to Jesus so that they so that God's glory can be seen in their lives soon. Through our obedience, we radiate God's glory to our friends, relatives, and the whole world. Wow, wow Dr. Rodrix, that means that if I want to radiate God's glory, I must serve him with the talent and gift he has given me. That's very true, Angie. And it also means that the, we let the fruit of the Spirit manifest and grow in our lives. We are radiating God's glory. Wow. Wow. How about you guys at home? What are you learning from this lesson? Could you share with somebody sitting next to you? Could you share with us? Okay. Could you share with us? We want to hear and also to know what you are saying or what you are learning from this lesson. And the third point that I want to bring to us is that when we radiate God's glory, when we obey and do that which God has commanded us, when you obey God, when you do what God has commanded us to do, then we are radiating his glory. So with these three points, we not only just radiate God's glory, but we are also revealing God's character and nature to the world. So as we come to conclusion, guys, what is it that we are saying? God has called us to himself to light up this world with his glory. And as we saw in Angie's uh, with, with Angie's light or Angie's lamp that could brighten the whole place. We as Christians have been called to radiate God's glory to this world. And how do we do that? We can only radiate God's glory through serving him, through uh, allowing the fruit of the spirit to work or to be manifested in our lives and also to be able to obey and do that which he has called us to do. And as we saw in Bantav's uh, a lamp that could not give any light, it could not give light, why? Because it was not fully charged. It was not charged at all. And that means for it to give light, it has to be connected to the source or the power source. And we as Christians can only be able to light up the world if we are connected to our source, who is our God. So in order for you to light up the world, you need to be connected to God, who is our source. If you don't connect yourself to God, the, the glory of God in your life will start to dim. And as a result, you will not give any light. So how do we charge then as Christians? We charge through, one, reading the word of God. Reading the word of God helps you to charge. Number two is by praying. When we pray, we are also charging. Number three is finding time to fast. When you find time to fast, you are also radiating God's glory. And also, we need also to uh, uh, join the Bible clubs in our estates. This helps us to charge. Not only just that, but also to attend to the Sunday school in churches. So this helps us to charge so that the glory of God can be manifested to the world that we live in. So guys, you could be there and you're wondering or asking yourself, so how then can I radiate God's glory and I don't know him? The first step that you have to take in your life, if you have never given your life to God or to Jesus, is to give your life to Jesus. By so doing, 
then you will be able to radiate his glory. So I want to invite Angie to lead us into the confession prayer before we go on. You can only radiate God's glory if you have received Jesus in your life. It is Jesus who gives this glory. John chapter 17, verse 22. If you are there and you have not received him, pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me. Please come into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Guys, if you have prayed that prayer, you know what? You are born again, meaning you've been born into the family of God. Now you are into the family of God. And what does that mean? It means that now you are no longer out, but you are in the, uh, the family of God. And in this family, there are things that we do that I wouldn't want you to miss out on. The first thing is that we read the word of God. This should be your friend. Why? Because it is by reading the word of God that you are able to understand and know what God is saying about your life. Number two, you also need to pray. Prayer is the way of communication, the way you talk to dad, the way you talk to mom at home, we talk to God through prayer. So when you are praying, you are talking to God, but also God will be able to talk to you. And the third thing that I want you to do is that we also share the word of God, just like the way you have heard about this and you have given your life to Christ. Your friends, your family members would also like to do the same. So invite them over and let them also be able to give their lives to God. And therefore, as we near the end, I want to welcome Bandav to lead us into the time of prayer again. Okay, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the day that you gave us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you gave us, Lord Jesus. Jesus, as we read your as we read your word, oh Lord Jesus, in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, oh Lord, mm -hmm. please help us to remember this, oh Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And also as we learn see your lesson about radiating your glory, oh Lord, mm -hmm. I pray that you'll be with each and every one of us, oh Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you'll help every one of us radiate your glory in our lives, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Please be with us throughout the entire year and please help us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, guys. Um, it is that special time of memory work or memory verse. And to take us through that is no any other person but Anchi. And our memory verse today comes from the book of John chapter 17 verse 22, which says, I have given them the glory that you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. Yes, in case you missed out on that, it's John chapter 17 and verse 22, and it says... I have, I have given, given them, them the glory, glory that, that you gave, gave me, that, that they, they may be one, one as we are one. Yes. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for being able to join us today. Guys, we say thank you very much once again for choosing to tune in today or listening to us on that radio or watching us on that television. May the Lord bless you. And my parting word to you is, God's glory is his invisible qualities that has been made visible. And therefore, from us here, we just want to tell you, bye. bye.